Well, you know those family heirlooms and yard sale purchases you have sitting there in your home? They might bring you in some extra cash. Cha-ching! Who doesn't like that, right? PhD antiques appraiser, author, and nationally syndicated columnist Dr. Lori is going to show you antiques that she's appraised during her popular stage shows, and she's going to reveal some big surprises along the way. Dr. Lori, welcome back. Hi, nice to see you. Always great to see you. You know, you've done what? You've been to more than 100 antique appraisal shows all across this country. I am sure you have seen the gamut when it comes to <laughs> antiques. You are right, yeah. right. Soup to nuts, I always say. Soup to nuts. Yeah, you know, and what we need to learn, America needs to learn, you have the stuff. It's in your house. You have the stuff. Yeah, it's let's, there in your house. All right, let's see some stuff. Yeah, let's meet some folks. So the, the events look, you know, big crowds, blah, 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 but people bring objects, all different types of objects. I evaluate about 20,000 objects a year. Okay. I don't buy antiques or sell antiques. I'm an appraiser only. only so people an come in to actually learn the truth. And when, you know, I'm looking at this, these crowds are, you get some great crowds. Well, wonderful people all over, and it's a lot of fun. I get to share my expertise with all kinds of folks. Mm -hmm. So, um, for example, I met Paul in Louisville, Kentucky, mm -hmm. and he had a big problem because his grandmother's house was in foreclosure. Mm -hmm. And he had this weather vane, this antique weather vane. It is made of copper. It dates from about 1850. And I got to tell him that it was worth fifteen thousand dollars. <gasps> You're kidding me! Where was the weather yeah. vane? Dr. Yeah, Lord. the weather vane. No, the weather vane was actually on the top of a farmhouse. It was just sitting there, fifteen thousand dollars yeah. on the top of a farmhouse. Yeah, and they were going to lose the farmhouse. It was his grandmother's farmhouse. Good thinking to take that weather vane off. All right, and somebody said, you know, why don't you go bring it to Dr. Lori? Let her see what what the weather vane might bring. Oh, too bad that couldn't have saved their house. I, and well, I'll tell you what, he started crying because that's exactly what it was going to help save. You kidding me? I'm not kidding oh, you. Oh my God! No tears in his eyes. I I mean, and that's a great yeah, story. Yeah, that's a great story. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and then I was in Kansas City, Missouri, and I met this woman. This is Joanne, and Joanne likes to go to estate sales. Mm -hmm. So she went to an estate sale, and she bought this particular drawing, and she brought it in. She said, you know, I don't know what this is, but I bought it for $2 at an estate sale. And I said, well, I said, you have actually a true and authentic Picasso drawing. You're kidding, Dr. Not Lori. kidding. What? I took out my loop. I looked at it. There, it was a signature, but more of it was that it was a drawing and not a print. Sure. Which made it worth $50,000. What? Yeah. For $2. For $2. So that was the real thing, but you had to know about the paper, the process, what Picasso was doing from the 1950s. It wasn't the prettiest thing you've ever seen, sure. but worth a lot of cash. Absolutely. Then I met this couple. Um, this is Ann and Ed, and Ann and Ed I met in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. And uh, they were getting ready for one of my events, and people would bring in their objects. They'll sit in an audience. And uh, I look at it, and I explain to them that it's a Pennsylvania Impressionist landscape painting, early American. It dates to about 1900 to 1930, made by a very well-known artist named Walter Emerson Baum in that area. And I said, your painting, similar paintings have sold, because all of my values are based on a sales record where something else sold sure. that's similar. I said, similar paintings like yours, known for their snow scenes in Pennsylvania for $100,000. And that's Whoa. what yours is worth. Oh, wow. Yeah. And she said, now my kids are going to know. We've hung it up in our family. We've had it for three generations. It was my mother's painting. We're going to hand it down to our sons. Oh, that's good. So that was a good story. That's a great, that's a great story. story. I love that. And this is a beautiful, beautiful picture here. That's a beautiful picture, too. This is Robin. I met her in Houston, Texas at the Houston Home and Garden Show. And she came in because she was sick of her husband going to yard sales and buying junk. <laughs> and he had bought an upholstered chair, not unlike the ones that we were sitting on, but an older upholstered chair from the 19th century. So she said, you get that chair and you start ripping it apart, or you get that chair out of there and put it on the curb. Okay. Okay? So her husband Ray is there with her, and, and they pull it apart, and he starts to do his hobby, and he finds a piece of cardboard with this inside. Yeah. Opens up the cardboard inside. That particular piece is a pastel by Edgar Degas. No. Worth $100,000. No. The real thing. That particular piece was a fabulous work, a museum quality per work hidden in the chair. So that piece was going someplace that else. That was. And then lastly, I met Stephanie. Okay. I met Stephanie in, La in Annapolis, Maryland. And uh, she brought in this. This was a mobile that had been given to her mother on the occasion of the birth of her first child. Okay. A baby mobile. Okay. The mobile that she bought was by Alexander Calder. Ooh. Very, very famous. So how much, how much? We got 20 seconds, I can't wait to hear. $250,000, yeah, and the family had it and it was in perfect condition and other ones sell like it, small scale, 
$250,000. So now me. America has the stuff. America has the stuff. And is that the takeaway? That's the takeaway. Look around the, the look around the house. Make sure the grandma knows what's going on with you and that gets handed down and stays in the family because you've got the stuff. It's right in your house. I got this balancing act cup. I'm going to ask you to appraise it in just a minute. Yeah, right? okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Dr. Lori. All right, for more information on antique appraisal shows or to get tips for yourself, please visit Dr. Lori's website at drlorivee.com.